So it's booting up for the first time and should be up in a few seconds. So right now we only have a single user which is the root user. So we can log in as root. And the first step you usually want to do is to create a new user. So I'm going to use the user at minus g users. So I'm going to add the user to the users group. And I'm going to use the bin bash shell as a default shell. And I'm going to call my username Lurken. Then the next step would be to give that user a password. So please enter a password. Please enter the password again. And if you want to remove the user later on, you can just use a user del minus r lurken if you wanted to get rid of, of me. So the next part, um, a non-root user should have some way of executing admin accounts, uh, admin commands. So the principle, bet bef bet uh, the principle in not using the root as a primary user is Basically, when, for example, you have your Firefox running with root privileges and it's going to uh, go to some malicious website, then the code executed already has uh, admin privileges, which is something you really don't want. So you want to have some unprivileged user. And then the user usually uses sudo to execute commands. So we are going to install sudo. And then we have to configure the user, uh, the sudo access. So first of all, you could just go uh, down here to the part where it says wheel. And that will um, allow all the users to execute commands. So if the user is in the wheels group, hold on, here you can see. If the user is in the wheel group, we can execute all the other commands by using sudo in, st in front. So of course we now need to add our user to the uh, wheel group. So add the user lurken to the wheel group. And now um, basically we now can switch over to the user lurken and use sudo to execute commands. So let's test that. Su lurken sudo ifconfig now it's going to ask us for the password and of course the command wasn't found but it basically works we didn't get any errors so sudo execution works so now the next step would be to install some um, base applications so the first one would be to install acpid so that is basically going to give you information about the power status of your battery and stuff like that. Then we have NTP, which is the network time protocol. So we can update our, our system time automatically and don't have to set it manually. And then we have the CUPS package, which is used to manage printers and crony to execute crone jobs. And as you can see, we are getting an error because we do not have a network connection. So now we type Wi-Fi menu again. And we are going to connect to the network again. And that was also uh, the reason why I installed the dialog package before. Um, if I didn't install the dialog package, I would have to install it right now, which is a little bit of pain in the ass to do. So let's simply run the pacman command again and install all the needed packets. So now it should work because now we have a network connection and it's going to start downloading the files. So by default, um, the service we just installed are not going to get started. So we also need to um, 
to start those. And we are going to use system control to enable those services. So you can basically just always type system CTL uh, space enable space and then the name of the service. So let me show you how that works. Um, system con control enable ACP ID. So that's basically creating soft links and on the next reboot it knows to automatically start those services. AV AHI demon. Okay. And last but not least. Cups. So now we have all the stuff uh, that needs to be started. I didn't configure Crony yet, but we can do that later on if you want to set up Crone jobs. Um, a lot of people don't actually ever set up Crone jobs. So I'm not going to do that now. But I'm going to install the NTP packet so we can update our time. And we do that by specifying our time server. I usually just delete those lines and do a server depool.ntp.org. And now we can use ntpd minus gq to update. Ah, there is the mistake. You're writing it with to pool. Okay, so now the time is set and you can see that uh, we skipped around 3600 seconds. So now it's 40 minutes past 5, which is actually the time I'm at. And now we can see what the hardware clock says. So now we basically wrote it to the HB clock. And now the hardware clock also has the uh, proper time and date. And you can see at the end that we are in the plus one time zone, which is Berlin. So everything is as expected. So now that we um, basically installed the, the needed services to update our system, we can now continue with installing a graphical user interface. And for that, I will start by installing the so-called XORG or X server. Then we need a few packets to start it up. So now that we've installed the the uh, the X window system, the next part would be to install a graphic cards driver. So you do a LS PCI and grab VGA and that is going to list you the name of your graphics card. So in my case it's an Intel. So I'm going to use Pac-Man and with that command you can um, list all the available drivers. Hold on, I think I mistyped. Yeah, 86 video. So depending on what um, graphics card you have in here, you can uh, select the package from this list. I got an Intel card, so I'm going to install the, the Intel packet. All 
All right. So now that we've um, set up the the drivers, um, so if you if you don't find your drivers, you can just install. Um, how is it called? I let me see. Yeah, you can just install the package called uh, Xorg drivers, and that package should include all the drivers above. So you will end up with more unneeded files, but you will clearly have yours included as well. Um, after installing the the desktop, I also need to install some drivers for my touchpad. So if you do not use a laptop, you can skip this step. So the next step would be to, um, because I still use a German keyboard and uh, I need to tell my X server to use a German keyboard. So I go into the X11 conf xorg conf d folder and in here I'm going to create a file called 20 minus keyboard.conf and in here I'm going to define my section input class So I'm basically just copying from the installation instruction page. Alrighty. So in order to get the uh, Xorg uh, desktop up and running, we also install a few more packets. So the Xorg uh, TBM, Xorg X clock and Xterm. And now we want to um, start our session. So we are not going to start it as a root, we are going to start it as, as uh, the user lurken. So I can switch over to the user lurken. And then I'm going to create a so-called xenit.rc file. And um, in here I have to define what kind of window manager I want to use. And I will define i3 as a window manager by typing exec on, uh, space i3. And of course I need to install i3 as well. So pacman minus s i3. And you notice that now since I switched over to the lurking user, I started adding a sudo in the beginning. So I now am running this command, which is an admin command as a um, non-admin through using sudo. And um, now it gives us three options and I want to install the E3 window manager, the E3 log, which is basically logging out and I3 status to show me some information at the bottom. So I simply press enter to select all and now I press Y to confirm the installation. So, and if I didn't forget anything, we should now be able to start it, but this would probably give us an error. Yeah, and you can see the errors cannot open virtual console. That's because we basically logged in as root and then relocked, so our user doesn't have the, the proper permissions. So the simplest fix is to simply log out or exit, and now we exit again, and now we get spawned back to the uh, startup screen.
All right, and this time we are going to log in as Lurken with a password we specified before. And again, we try the start x command. And let's see if we are getting a session this time. And as you can see, it uh, loaded the desktop. It, it does look a little bit weird because right now I'm on a dual screen. So I have my laptop and a uh, monitor attached via HDMI and my laptop doesn't go over the uh, 1.3 resolution. So it's going to look a little bit weird over here. But fear not, we are going to fix that soon. So we now um, get asked if we want to generate a default config and we simply press enter for yes. And one more time to specify what key we want to use. So with E3, you always have your master key and you have a keyboard combination. I prefer using the Windows key. So for example, you can uh, start applications by pressing Windows D. Uh, you can resize application by pressing Windows R. You can uh, open a new terminal by pressing Windows Enter and stuff like that. So I will be picking the Windows key. Maybe you prefer the Alt key. I don't know what keyboard you got. It's all up to you. So, and there we go. We now basically um, have our Linux started up, our i3. And now the first step I'm going to do is open a terminal by pressing Windows Enter. And in here I'm going to use X render to set the mode. And we need to specify an output. So first I'm going to type X render minus Q. And here you can see um, all the available modes. So the first one is my, my laptop and the second one is the HDMI one, which we are on right now. So I do a X render minus minus output HDMI one. And we are going to set the mode to 1080p. Ah, so as you can see by the star that we already do have this mode, but it appears that we have a mirrored setup. So let me try some different magic. Output HDMI one minus minus left off. And there we are going to use the EDP one. All right, so as you can see, the resolution over here changed. And right now I do see that my keyboard is still not using the proper layout I wanted. And I think I know where this is coming from. If I do remember correctly, the X model PC 105 isn't actually a German model. So I basically remove that line and after the next reboot I should have the the proper um the proper keyboard layout. So this is the base installation. In the next uh, part we are going to rise our desktop a little bit. So we are going to beautify and um I will show you how to install packages, how to update the base system and stuff like that. So see you soon.